Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Hermitcraft server. How is everybody doing? I'm doing okay. Do you know who's not doing okay? Scar. Because, look at this, the Diamond Throne is gone and people have been leaving little tributes. Rip Throne, you thought you were better than me, but now look who's left standing. I don't even know what that means. You tasted so good, that's kind of gross. I don't know what's happening here, but... I, th I feel like it's time we left our own little monument or our own little remembrance to the throne. Hopefully it'll be back someday. But in the meantime, we have to make sure it knows that we feel terrible for its absence. I think something like this would be kind of appropriate here. Let's make sure we can see the na styles. Display name, yes, okay. Then we name it Gone But Not Forgotten. And then we align it down a little bit here. Um, auto align, item on surface, look at that. Gone but not forgotten, a little diamond block tribute to the missing diamond throne. I don't know if you guys are aware of what's happening here on the server, but there are some things brewing. There is a resistance happening. There's, there is hep happening. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. The resistance is basically a group of people who want to maintain mycelium in the shopping district for principle. And then, of course, there's hep who wants to burn it all and replace it with this, grass blocks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think either one is my favorite. I've mentioned in the past how I like Podzel. Podzel's great. You can plant mushrooms on Podzel, you can't do that on grass, and you can plant saplings on Podzel, and you can't do that on mycelium. And unlike mycelium and grass, Podzel does not spread. And spreading is bad, by the way. You know what else spreads? Viruses, plagues, infections. But even though it doesn't spread, you can still farm it. So maybe people just need to be reminded of Podzel. Maybe they just forgot. Podzel is great. What do you think, Sage Cat? Huh? How should we remind people that Podzel is an option? So you want to join HEP? Answer this one question which block is best? Grass is best block, mycelium is best block. What about Pozzel? Pozzel is great too, right? Lever left for yes. Come on, guys. Let's leave this lever. Oh, wait. Hold on. Lever left for yes. I think we're going to hide our little guy right back here. Nobody will even notice. And it's just a subtle, hey, guys, remember? Pozzel is still great, though. I think one thing that we need to do is really bring Podzel to the forefront, really remind people that Podzel exists. That's the problem with Podzel. Nobody really remembers that it, is ex that it exists. The only place that even sells Podzel, as far as I'm aware, is right over here, and they're completely out of stock. So, we're going to start a Podzel shop right in this area. I think this is the perfect spot for it. I'm going to try to make it small, like a 10 by 10 area, because I don't want to pay for a huge plot. Um... I think this is plenty of room, so we want it to be five, probably seven, so we'll start there, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, and then the same over here, we're going to make it squared, accessible from all angles, it's going to have a very, it's going to be called Podzel Plus, by the way, Podzel Plus. It's going to have Podzel and Podzel related items like spruce stuff because that's where you find Podzels in like the, the taiga biomes. And spruce is also found in the taiga biomes. And I'm very, very happy to provide it for people. I, I might be competing with logs over there in, in terms of selling some spruce logs because I plan on doing that. But hopefully we can undercut the prices <laughs> and have people buy from us instead. Beautiful. I'm done. Of course I'm not done. Come on, guys. Did you guys think I was actually done? No, you didn't. I brought a bunch of stuff that I might be able to use here, so hopefully I'll be able to use a lot of it. I want this build to be really, really nice. It's got to catch people's attention. It's got to illustrate how well Podzel goes with things. Oh, look, it's X. Hi. Just starting to put some detail on it. I'm going to try to make this not look as squared. Uh, I do have a plan for that, and hopefully the plan succeeds, but so far this is what I've got. I think what we need to do now is do a little bit of, like, um... Maybe we should do, you know what, let's do the, uh, the it's going to be a tent style sort of thing, okay? And I'm going to use green and white because that's very podzily, um, or cold taiga-ish, I guess, <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. So let's do that, oops, that, we're going to use bone blocks, by the way, 
I was thinking of using uh, the, the white wool, but it's just such a bright, bright color. I don't want to use it. I want to use something a little bit more dingy and dark. Like it's, uh, like it's used. It's weathered. You know, things have happened to it. Uh, I guess we have to do that there. Okay, and now we're going to just repeat the pattern all the way around. So this is where the main uh, pole is going to be for the shop. And uh, it's going to, it's gonna like, sort of, I guess, uh, be where the, the barrels are. I'm going to put my stuff in barrels. It's going to be great, guys. I, trust me. Trust me. I know. You guys are thinking, oh, looks pretty square to me still, Beef. You said you are going to make it look rounder. Well, I'm, I'm trying. But I'm not as good as you guys are in some cases. So um, you're just going to have to bear with me. Did I bring any spruce trap doors? I did not. But I brought plenty of spruce. Let's make some of those real quick. I'm not sure how many I'll need. Probably more than that. I don't know. This is going to be our table. Okay, or our tables, I should say. So, these guys are going to sit on top of this thing. There's going to be four items we're selling. I'll reveal those in a second. You obviously know Podzil is one of them. And we're going to decorate the outside here with Podzil as well. Uh, but in the meantime, let's keep this train rolling. This is where things start to get a little bit better. Uh, we're going to sort of unflatten the front of this building to make it look like, give it the illusion that it's not a square because it technically is a square, and we don't like squares. We like, <laughs> we don't like squares. Says the guy playing a squared video game for 10 years. Um, next we do, let me think here. I'll, I'll think I want this one up here. So I think I want this, no, nope, this right here. Gonna need that as well. Go ahead, oh, yep, that's, that's what we wanted. And then, just a little something like that, right? And then I believe... Just something like that. Yeah. I think that's perfect. We're going to do that all the way around. And it's automatically looking less like a square. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Let's give the roof a little more shape here. That's looking pretty good. Guys, let me step back and show you what I've done so far. That is looking really, really nice. R really nice and inviting. Right? Isn't that a store you just want to shop at? I would love to have employees working at this store. But they seem to all get murdered because of one Wells Mart. And it's anti mob proofing move and anti mob proof roof whoo that was a tongue twister all right let's get some barrels in there shall we barrel number one two three and four and i think i have yes i did i brought enough item frames oh you know what i think i want to do to attach the item frames I can't really attach them there i can attach to the barrels but i want them above the barrels and i want them to look kind of cool so uh, do I have, here, let's make some fence gates, I think. I think fence gates will probably work best. Fences, it won't attach to the actual, um, wait, how do I do this again? No, I think that I was right. Uh, yeah, fences won't attach to the actual thing. Like, it won't attach to the signs I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, build and, and speak at the same time, and apparently that's really difficult for me. So we're just gonna have some fence gates coming out like that. Now, these guys will actually be attached to to the fence gate, thereby creating the illusion that it's being held up by it. Obviously, we'll be selling Podzel one diamond per stack. We'll also be selling ferns. We will be selling spruce, as I mentioned before, and we'll be selling spruce leaves. I think those four are gonna are gonna actually do really really well. I hope anyway. Um, but let's get those little chests filled, and then we can move on with more decoration. Let's get this floor looking a little nicer in here as well. We don't want it to be um, kind of an ugly floor. We don't want it to be grass, that's for sure. Not the grass is ugly. Not the grass is ugly. Could be worse. Could be mycelium. Make these look a little bit smoother. It's the variety that I want people to see. You know, there's a variety in these things. Look at even those two look different. You know what I mean, guys? Podzil and 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 its counterparts, Podzil Plus. <laughs> could be made to look really, really fantastic. Uh, let's put up some lighting in here, shall we? And I brought four of these guys. I brought some chains. I think this is going to look kind of cool, I hope. We'll hang one right there. Nope. Right. Can I not? There we go. Um, that actually looks not bad either. Maybe we'll do that one, like, on this side. We'll have it, like, right th uh, Maybe not on the same side. So let's have this one here. All right. Then inside here, we'll have a taller one, like so. Like that. Ah, uh, maybe we'll lift it up one. I don't like it at that level exactly. So we'll lift it up one, just like that. And we have one more of these lamps left. And we will put that one maybe just down on the floor here. I think that'll look kind of cool. 
Not only do we have to decorate the shop itself, we gotta decorate the area around it to make it enticing to people. That looks really kind of perfect, actually. I did not want a super tall spruce tree. I saw some spruce trees that Corrales built himself over there. They look incredible. And I thought about doing something like that over here, but it would just take away from the shop too much because his his shop over there, the looky looky at my cookie, I think it's called, <laughs> is, uh, is really, really big. And this shop is really small, so we don't want the tree to take away too much from the shop. So we got a nice little small spruce tree here. I'm happy about that. Now, we've got to make this floor, or ground, I should say. This ground has got to be improved. Let's get rid of all this ugly, useless grass. We're going to use a combination of coarse dirt, podzel, and regular dirt, because podzel doesn't spread, so we can place it wherever we want. That's the beauty of podzel. We don't have to worry about it interfering with other forms of, of block life, of blockage, of blockery. You know what I mean, guys? And the shop is officially done. Podzel Plus is now open for business. Here's what I did around the little uh, little area here, a little landscaping action. Some spruce leaves, obviously the mixture here that I talked about. We've got some spruce leaves down here. We've got a little dead bush action. A little spruce... Oh, wait, these are the, the, the berry bushes. Uh, one of those there. We've got another one down there. I mean, it's looking real good, guys. It's looking real good. I love it. I love the way it looks, honestly. I think it's one of my favorite builds so far. <laughs> I think I say that after every build. But I really, really like it. I, and I hope you guys do too. Best of all, I technically only used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by nine blocks for my actual shop. The rest is just decor. It's just landscaping. So technically, I only owe one diamond block. So let's go pay for it. We'll rebuild this diamond throne one block at a time. And this is where the recruitment starts. In order for this to be a real movement, we need more than just me. We need to recruit for this block far and wide. But why go to them when they can come to you? We're going to be keeping an eye on who comes over to Podzel Plus to purchase that specific block right there, Podzel. Hopefully we've got some members to help us spread the word about how cool, useful, beautiful Podzel is. And while we're here, let's check on Beefy Stores. Everything is better at beefs. Mm. Clearly business is booming because we just opened up another, yet another shop. So we must be doing well. Actually, that was actually, that was actually not bad at all. <laughs> Hello. What do we got? Oh. Oh, I'll take that too. That's pretty good. Oh, that's my ender chest. Um, nothing, nothing. Oh, that is not bad at all. Any other sales here? We've got some hay sales. That's good. I don't think anybody else bought. No, nobody else bought a llama. We've even got a map sale. Whoa. I mean, wallpaper roller. That's impressive. Any other sales here? N oh, we've got nine cool white wallpaper. Well, one wallpaper sale, but it's one diamond block each. So, wow. Well, guys, guys, we are really taking off. I can't wait to see what Podzel Plus brings to the table. I've been seeing some comments about people wanting me to show my entire decked out run. So that's what I'm about to do. I apologize if this doesn't interest you. This is a game that all of us hermits are currently really, really hooked on. Why do I have this shulker box? I don't understand what's happening here. Do I, what Did I bring an empty, empty shulker box? I can't put these shulker boxes inside other shulker boxes. Oh, this, these are my cards. So I have to put them down here. Did I set my spawn? I did. Okay. All right. Let's get all this stuff out. Oh. By the way, I have two teleportation orbs that I found in one of these uh, loot boxes or decked out boxes. So this is going to come in handy, hopefully, the teleportation orbs do, and hopefully I don't die immediately with them. Also, what cards do I want to use? We're going to go with Beast Sense 2, Resistance 2, Soul Seeker 3, Loot Finder 1, and that's it. And Stealth 1, yeah. So we're going to leave these guys here. I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's get this guy in there, load up our card, or our deck, I should say, hit the button, boop, and here we go. Alright, right off the bat, it's looking like it wants me to go this way. Through this wall? Huh. Oh, this does go around, though. I know this goes around. Let's just be careful here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Already? Already? Okay, okay. 
Let's see if we can go around. I think... Yikes! Oh, he's right there. I gotta go up this way, though. He's right there. I've gotta go that exact way. I mean, I guess I could use the teleportation orbs, but I didn't really want to do that just yet. Is he, he's going... He is going... Oh my gosh, he's in, he's in the exact spot that... Okay, I think we can go around. Let's try going around. And that requires me going this way. I believe. And then I think that door or that staircase there leads to it. I hope. <laughs> this could be bad. What do we got here? What do we... There's another beast right there. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Let's lead him out. Let's lead him out. We're leading him. We're leading them both, I think. Yep. Well, there's one at least. Now, we gotta lose him. Gotta lose him. There's a beast right there. Oh, does he see me? I don't think he sees me. Is this thing leading me to? Okay. On the other side of this wall. Alright. How does one get to the other side of that wall? Please don't look at my face. Oh, I didn't like that. Right here? Oh! Oh, there's another one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're still safe. Is it this room? <gasps> I think it's this block right here. There it is. Okay, so we got this now. Loot box. Now, maybe we can explore and see if we can find some other stuff. That didn't do... Wait a minute. Oh, there's nothing there. Nothing there. There's soul flame. Thank you very much. We gotta be real careful here. We still have these teleportation orbs that we can use. Oh. That is not good. Oh, come on. Is that the only way out? <laughs> that might be the only way out. got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay. Lead him. Hopefully he's coming around. All right. Okay. Where in Oh, there's another one there. Why are they all around where I need to be? Nothing. This is not a good place to be. It's a dead end. All these. Ooh. <laughs> Did not want to do that. Um. Should I just cut my losses and leave? I guess they're they're not losses right now. But should I just should I just? Oh, is this a? No. Wait, is that a beast? It is. Boy, it's right here. Not being chased by anything just yet. I really wanted to do a little bit more exploring, but I might have to settle for just getting out of here with a loot token. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're out of here. Loot token. Thank you very much. Hi, buddy. Whew, we survived. We didn't use our beast, uh, wait, our, what's it called? A teleportation orbs, but hey, that is all right. Let's see what we have to choose from. I think we only knocked out one soul flame, too, so not the best. Resistance one, loot finder one, and beast sense one. I believe I have, I believe I might have two loot finder one cards. Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll take the loot finder one. 
and we'll trade that in, or trade three of those in, for a tier two card. Hopefully we get lucky with all that stuff. Uh-oh. Did I just go in there with full armor? I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't get hit by anything, though, so... I don't think it would it would have mattered whether I, whether I had full armor or not. I hope that's okay. Because none of this really... None of this improves... Like, my speed or anything like that. And I didn't get hit by anything. So, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That was a mistake. I've never done that before. Actually, that was the first time. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Oh, man. Tango, please don't kill me. Where is our Loot Finder 1? There it is. Let's go trade in these three cards. Let's get... This is the Loot Box token. Soul Seeker 2. Okay. Ooh, I'm so sorry, Tango. I hope I hope that wasn't... I hope that wasn't a bad thing. I have 36 decked out coins. That's pretty good, right? Um, so, yeah. I finished. I think I am good to go. I got my card. Let's go trade the cards in, which is right over here. Uh, tier 1 cards, 3 Loot Finder 1 cards, 1, 2, 3, just making sure it was actually taking them, I got a Soul Seeker 2, hold on, give me a second here, we have 2 Soul Seeker 2 cards now, okay, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Let's get this loot box, to loot box token traded in. This is exciting. I hope I get a unique. Probably not. The I think all the uniques are like gone. Oh. Okay. I didn't even see that pop out. Let's see what we got. Whoa. I'll take those coins. Thank you very much. Let's Add that to my collection of 36. I now have 43. That's good. We got a witch set uncommon, a desert set common, and a nether set common. Oh, we got two desert set commons. And a witch set uncommon. Do we have any commons here? We have an enchanting set common. A rare, a rare, uncommon, a, a nether set common. I have two nether sets. Two nether set commons and a witch set uncommon, which I could... You know what? I already have one of these. I'm going to trade in the, these two. You know what? I'm going to trade in all three, all four of them. I don't need the desert set. I already have the witch set uncommon and I already have the nether set common. I'm going to trade in all four of these guys. Oh man, that's kind of a bummer. Well, maybe we'll get something good. Artifact trade-in. I'm trading in all four. Maybe we'll get a key out of it. Who knows? It, the worst comes to worst, we get four coins out of it. There's one coin. Two coins. Three coins. Last chance. Four coins. I'll take it. And that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time. Podzol is going to make a comeback. I don't know if it actually ever left. I don't know if you can consider it a comeback if it never really left because it's always been great. Everybody knows it's been great. Bodzel is going to remain great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And remember to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you again from the bottom of my Bodzel filled heart for watching and I will see you in the next episode. I can't fly anywhere because I, I wasted all my rockets and I did not manage them correctly. Bye-bye.